video. I'm very excited. Oh, not the table. I'm very excited. A couple of weeks ago, the lovely people at Cherries got in touch and said, would I like £50 spending spree on their App Stroke website? And I said, hell yeah, I really would. Thank you very much. So they gave me £50 to spend and asked me if I would tell you guys what I'd bought. In addition to my £50, there's also a discount code for you guys. That's underneath in the descriptions box and will save you 20% on your purchase. So make sure you check out Cherries. They have an app or a website. I found ordering on the app really easy. I'm going to stick in one side or the other. I'm going to stick in some little footage of me running through their app. And then I'm going to show you what's in the box. The very heavy box. So in case you don't know about Cherries, they are an online shopping experience that is similar to the places I love on the high street. Not really, not really on the high street, they're more in the retail parks, but places like Home Bargains, B&M, Poundland, Pound Stretcher. Um, I don't know what people have up north. I believe there's other, other things up north that are equally exciting. Places where everything is low, low prices and they carry all the good stuff that I like. And Cherries have all of that on their app and on their website. It is delivered to your door in a big box. I like a big box. And the prices are as good as I find in those stores that I go in all the time. How fab is that? This is a huge box of goodies. Look at that little lot. Now, I've got my phone here so that I can tell you the price of the things I bought, but you might have to be patient with me while I find things. I think it'll be easier to go through my app and tell you the prices than through the box and find the things. So I know for a fact that there's another one of these in there somewhere. It's a roll of brown tape. I'm an eBay reseller. I get through a lot of parcel tape and I usually have the eBay branded tape, but I forgot to order it last time I had my eBay voucher. And so I'm a little bit low on parcel tape. These are 125 a roll, but there is slightly more on the roll than the ones I usually get from Home Bargains, etc. So 125 roll for S extra long, that's why there's more. It is 50 metres of brown tape. So I've got two of those at 125 each. The other one will show up at some point, I'm sure. These aren't for me, these are for Natalie. She likes a drumstick chew and they were a pound for a bag of those. So I thought I'd treat Natalie. I don't know if they're all one flavour. Oh no, there's more than one flavour in there. Five, five flavours of drumstick chews. The original raspberry milk, strawberry and cream, apple and cherry, peaches and cream, strawberry and banana. She'll be tough with those for a quid, she will. So she will indeed. As well as treats and useful stuff, Cherry sell food, so I was even able to get some of my grocery shopping while I was uh, pottering about. Something we were out of was pasta, so I've got a bag of fafale, fafale, which is bow ties. It's pasta. Kaiki's here going, I like pasta. He's not having it. It's pasta, dried pasta. You don't want dried pasta, it's like I really do. Fafale, which is bow tie pasta, and that was 60p, which is again a nice comparable price with the shops. I love me some Fabulosa. The Fabulosa was only 90p. That is cheaper than Home Bargains. It is a pound in Home Bargains, maybe more. It's 99. That's really nice. This is Berry Tea Party. Have a sniff. That's really nice. The Fabulosa fruity scents actually smell like squash. You have to persuade yourself not to have a pint of it. I got this, and this is one of the reasons Kaiki is standing here looking all excited. I'm not going to give it to him just yet because it might cause a fight. This is my rope tug toy, and that was £1.50. So him and Molly can have a tug of war with that in a minute. In a minute, not just now, in a minute. Time Out wafers are only 106 calories per bar, so I got myself a pack of those for £1. Handy thing to have, nice low calorie treat. Oh, and I got this. I have a plan. Go off screen. I have a plan for part of the garden, which is to turn it into a little fairy garden for the women, for when the girls visit and the little girl next door. And they have, on the Cherries website, they have a selection of little fairy houses. And so, for £6, I got this one, which is shaped like a pear. Can you get down, please? Kai just climbed up on the table. It's a little pear-shaped fairy house. That's... Uh, 
that's for my plan. This plan has been in, in my mind for a very long time and has not come to fruition yet. Fruition, get it with there. But hopefully at some point I'll, uh, I'll get it done. I've been trying to look after my skin a little bit more. And so when I saw these, this is Face Facts Vitamin C Face Cream. To get my face out of the picture for it to focus. And also Face Facts Vitamin C Lip Masks. They were £1.50 for the face cream, £1.50 for the lip masks. This apparently will help to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and soften my lips. And this will help to brighten and hydrate my skin. So I thought I would give those two a go for £1.50 each. I thought that seemed bargainous. I do love me some Rocky Road bars. I buy these in home bargains all the time. They were exactly the same price online. So there's no, uh, no increase in the prices just because you're having it delivered. Please with those, £1.50 they are a pack. I got some bin bags. Because I lead a glamorous life, I got some black bags. I think what I was particularly impressed with cherries, they had everything that I would normally buy when I go out, but I didn't have to go out for it. So if you are someone who is still a little bit unsure about the outside world, or maybe you're still trying to shield, or maybe you have mobility issues, maybe going outside isn't an option for you. Maybe you can go out, but you can't carry a lot of stuff home. Whatever those reasons might be, all of this stuff is the stuff that I buy when I go out shopping, but I didn't have to go out shopping for it. Bin bags, 50 litre extra strong refuse sacks, £1.35 for 20. I bought Anthony some caramel iced coffee. Now he loves a cold coffee and I buy them for him, the actual ready-made ones. I buy them for him quite often. This, this you just add milk and ice. And I said, did I say it was caramel flavour? It's caramel flavour. I think you'll like those. They were a pound and there's eight sachets in there, eight servings. So I thought that might be a nice treat for Anthony. And a lovely treat for me is some elbow grease stain remover bar because I know how to live, baby. I've always been a spiller when it comes to meals. There's a running joke between me and my friend Tammy that neither of us should buy white, white clothes for holiday because whatever we have straight down the front. I haven't tried the elbow grease stain remover. I've tried lots of other ones, but this is just a bar and you rub directly on. So it's like a bar of soap. There we go. And you rub it directly onto the stain. And it smells, it smells very clean. It, smells, it doesn't smell like the elbow grease in a bottle. It smells like, like um, washing powder soap rather than anything else. It was a pound. I thought it was worth a go to see if it gets some stains out. I liked these, they're just tea towels, but I liked the colours, they go nicely with my kitchen. Pack of two tea towels, one waffle and one plain, they were £2 for two, so that was a good price. All of my tea towels are very grubby, I have a bad habit of, if I can't find a dishcloth or there isn't a clean dishcloth handy, of wetting the tea towel and using it to wipe the surfaces down, and what that happened, what that means of course is my tea towels are grim. I don't hang them back up afterwards, they go in the washing machine, but they do end up in a bad way. I usually buy them from Ikea, but we haven't been for a while. I got some delicious chicken and beef rolls. They're not delicious for me. They're delicious for this bloke here who's just leapt to his feet when he heard the packet. And the little lady. Little lady has just popped her head up as well. I had scissors a minute ago. Hold on. Use the scissors, Carla. Stop trying to use your teeth for everything. Okay. One for you, Molly. One for you. One for you, Kai. There we go. Done for you, buddy. Okay, everyone has, everyone except me, has a delicious chicken and beef roll. That should keep them quiet. They were one pound and there are five in the packet. So somebody will have, somebody will, maybe when I take Molly out on Thursday, the boys might have one while we're out so that, so that nobody knows it's not fair. I got two pet mats. Um, if you watched my cleaning video recently, you'll have noticed that I had a disgusting area on the floor where they had carpet down for the dogs bowls and it just wasn't working and all the backing came off the carpet. These were an incredible price. These were 95p for two. So one says paws off and one says beware hungry pet it's dinner time. So I got Kaiki a little pet mat from the car boot sale for his bowls and then these will be for Molly's and uh, Buddy's. So two for 95p. That's that's an absolute win isn't it? Another one for Natalie is some Munchies cookie dough. Be honest, I thought if she has a packet of these, then I can try them. But what I might do, sneakily try one anyway while she's not here. She's at work. Oh, 
that's nice, but I don't think I prefer it to Ordinary Munchies. I think I still prefer the original. Sorry about the noises off camera, by the way. That is Buddy now enjoying his treat. I got a packet of Blue Dragon egg fried rice because I'd bought some sweet and sour sauce in Home Bargains a couple of days previously and realised I had no rice to go with it. So a little packet of Blue Dragon egg fried rice, that was 60p. The munchies were a pound, by the way. Did I say that? I also got, for Natalie, some um, orange chocolate buttons. She loves orange chocolate. So those of her, they were a pound. We were very much in need of, of dishwasher tablets. So I've got a big pack of the Astonish all-in-one dish dishwasher tablets. There's 42 in there and they're only 2 95 which I think is a brilliant price. And I have not noticed any reduction in the quality of the dishwashing process from using Finish, which I use sometimes, to Astonish. The dishes are just as clean, so you don't always get what you pay for with dishwasher tablets. Finish are incredibly expensive and these do just as good a job. You know I'm a Pepsi Max fiend and this 1.5 litre bottle was a pound so I grabbed one of those. I also got um, a smoky barbecue marinade seasoning. Um, it's a powder in there, it was 60p. It says cover me evenly with the seasoning and then oven cook barbecue grill or stir fry make sure it's cooked through before eating. For extra flavour leave for 10 minutes or marinate overnight in the fridge. So I'm thinking maybe some nice barbecue chicken with that. I know barbecue beef is lovely and barbecue pork, barbecue everything. I don't know. Barbecue meat with that at some point. <laughs> I like the Werther's sugar-free toffees in the car and I can't find them in very many places so I was really pleased to see that they had these on cherries. They were two pounds for the packet. They are my favourite from the car. Shouldn't have them really because they pull my teeth out but I like them. And also while we're, oh I got two packets of those. Oh, they were not £2, they were two packets for £2. I remember looking now and thinking, oh, that's strange. Instead of being priced at a pound each, they were priced at two for £2. So I've got two bags of those. They should keep me going a while. But I also have some sugar-free strawberry and cream sweets. <clears throat> Haven't tried these before. They are 12 calories per 42 grams. It's, uh, yeah, they're 13 calories per sweet. It says here, just... 13 calories per sweet, so I'm going to give those a go for a little sucky treat. Behave. Pack of batteries, because you can never have too many AA batteries. I use these for several appliances around the house, including my... <laughs> including my buzzy friend. Don't even go there, rude people. I mean the fabric debobbler that I use for taking off pilling on eBay clothes. Ah, see, that's what happens when you're rude. You're wrong. They were 225 for four Duracell batteries. This I bought for when the girls or James come to visit. The, um, for those of you who don't know who I mean, Natalie's best friend's kids come frequently and stay the weekend. And James is her ex-boyfriend Ryan's son and he is friends with the girls so he comes to play as well. I thought they would enjoy this. It's called Hot Potato. It's a hot potato splash game. And you put water balloons inside and you have to pass the potato as quickly as possible to ensure you don't get soaked. So if we get some decent warm weather again for this heat wave that they told us we were getting, I thought the kids could play with this in the garden. I thought they might enjoy that. Found my other roll of parcel tape. That's turned up. Another treat for Anthony is Cadbury Dark Milk. This one is roasted almond. So um, he, likes, he likes dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate fan, but he's a big fan of dark chocolate. I also got a pack of teaspoons. Where do the teaspoons go? Where do they go? I seem to buy teaspoons all the time. These were 10 for £1.50, so 15 pence per teaspoon. That's not bad, is it? I don't know where they go. I could understand it if we were a very yoghurt household, because I think that if you have a lot of yoghurts, people often accidentally put the spoon in the bin with the pot. But we're not a very yoghurt household. I eat quite a lot of yoghurt, but I have it from a large tub, and I don't use a teaspoon. There's no excuse. The teaspoons are all just gone. They're probably all in Natalie's room. Another one for Anthony. Wagon wheel jammy tea cakes. They're only 66 calories each, actually. He might not get all of those. I might have one of those. I didn't... I promise you, I've, I've had jammy tea cakes before, but I didn't know Wagon Wheel made a tea cake brand, so that was a surprise. And we're down to the last couple of bits. I got a packet of paracetamol. We always always need paracetamol in this house. Everybody's got a headache or a toothache or, or a brain ache of some kind. This one to go with my pasta is 
Filippo Berrio tomato and ricotta pesto. I have never had pesto pasta. I think I'm the only person in the world who hasn't had it. Everybody else in the entire world has had pesto pasta. Not me. It's one ninety nine branded on the label, but it was £1.60, so that's already saving. Shall I open it and try it? How long does it stay good for after you open it? Shake well before use, refrigerate once open and use within two weeks. Can you eat pesto as it is or can you only eat it once it's in cooked pasta? I won't open it and try it in case you're not supposed to eat it as is. But it did look nice. Tomato and ricotta pesto. It's 369 calories per 100 grams so it's quite high. But I wouldn't have a lot of it I don't think. And last but by no means least, something you've seen me pick up in plenty of shopping hauls before. We get through a lot of these doggy waste bags. No choice. If you've got a dog, you have to clean up after it. And we get through a lot of doggy waste bags. They were 95p for four rolls. There's 60 bags there, so it's 15 rolls per bag. 15 bags per roll. That was a good price. That was um, slightly cheaper than I've been paying. So there we go, my entire order came to £49.90. I'm really pleased with the stuff I've got. I'm really pleased with the speed of the delivery. Did I mention that that game, by the way, the hot potato game was £5? I'm in impressed with the speed of delivery. It all came nicely packed. There's wadding in the box as well to keep it safe. The little glass jar for the pesto had an extra piece of paper around it as an extra added level of security to stop that smashing. So I think I was really pleased with the, the speed and the the quality of the delivery and the quality of the goods and as I said there is a discount code that I'm going to put along the screen now and I'm also going to put it down in the description box for anyone who thinks they'd like to give cherries a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for joining me and I'll be back soon with more of whatever it is I do here. Take care, bye for now.